When Obi-Wan made his way to Kamino, he uncovered a clone army that was commissioned for the Jedi and the Republic by then-deceased Jedi Master Sifo Diaz. What Obi-Wan didn't know was that the army was part of the secret plans of the Sith to push the galaxy into a full-scale war that would see the destruction of both the Jedi Order and the Galactic Republic, propelling the Sith into the position of rulers of the galaxy. But given the advanced cloning facilities that were present upon Kamino, and the ability of the Kaminoans to clone millions of the galaxy's finest soldiers in only a matter of years, it must be asked, why didn't the Kaminoans clone an army for themselves and then use it to take control of a republic that had no standing army for a thousand years? The answer, like most things, can be found in understanding the first actions of the Sith to create the clone army. In this video expose, I will explain why the Kaminoans didn't clone their own army to rule the galaxy, describing the Sith contributions to the Kamino cloning operations. The fundamental reason why the Kaminoans didn't create a clone army for themselves wasn't simply that they didn't have the will to do it. Rather, it was because they literally did not have the ability to carry out such a large operation prior to the intervention of the Sith and the funds that were made available to Kamino through Darth Plagueis and his connections to the banking clan. To understand why the Kaminoans didn't have the ability to create a clone army for themselves prior to the involvement of Plagueis, we must look at the relationship between Plagueis and Kamino. The Dark Lord of the Sith learned about the planet and its cloning facilities located at the edge of known space through his own master Darth Tenebris. Over the years, to carry out Plagueis' obsession with achieving eternal life through midichlorian manipulation, the Dark Lord relied upon the Kaminoans to clone him rare and even extinct animals and plants to carry out his experiments. It was through his knowledge of the cloning abilities of the Kaminoans that Plagueis was influenced to pursue the idea, with his apprentice Darth Sidious, of creating a clone army to push the galaxy into a full-scale conflict initially having the clone army fight against the Jedi, but ultimately being an army that would fight beside them. Three decades before the outbreak of the Clone War, Plagueis went to the Kaminoans to inquire about the feasibility of them to generate for the Sith the army that they required. Although he was discreet with the amount of information that he provided, Plagueis ultimately disclosed that he wanted a large number of clones, enough to constitute an army. It's here that we see why the Kaminoans hadn't used their technology to clone an army for themselves and pursue galactic dominance. As Kamino scientist Lachnor told Plagueis, while we might be able to grow a few clones, our facilities are at present inadequate to provide an army of any size. With that, Plagueis assured the scientists that he would provide whatever funds were needed to produce a large enough army for the Sith through his connections with the banking clan. The only stipulation that Plagueis had for the Kaminoans was that they had to work with Rothana Heavy Engineering, a shipbuilding subsidiary of Kuat Drive Yards. In a previous video entitled, How the Clone Army Was Secretly Supplied Military Vehicles for the Clone Wars, I explained how a deal arose between Kamino and the secret facilities of Rothana to outfit the clone army with acclimators low-altitude assault transports, and other vehicles for the Clone War. But we see too that Plagueis and the Sith were behind this brokered deal as well. Therefore, the primary reason why the Kaminoans didn't clone an army for themselves before the Clone War was that they didn't even have the facilities that could carry out a program to create an army, prior to the Sith pouring millions of credits into the project for their own purposes. It must be remembered as well that Kamino operated outside the Galactic Rim on the edge of known space, performing their previous cloning work in secret and exclusively for the very wealthy of the galaxy, thus making outside investment for an army prior to Plagueis extremely unlikely. But nonetheless, prior to the interventions of the Sith in creating an army that would ultimately fight within the Clone War, Kamino did not have the ability to create a sizable army, either for themselves or anyone else in the galaxy. So there we have it, why the Kaminoans didn't clone their own army to rule the galaxy. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For good investments!